there are t two ways of meditating on death. Uh, one is the morbid way, uh, which is a, a, a kind of avoidance of life and a, a sense that nothing is worthwhile because it's all going to come to an end. And the other is the creative way uh, of recognizing that, that your mortality is a fundamental part of all that you hope for. You know, when we fall in love uh, with another, when, I've, when one falls in love with another person, one is consciously taking under one's care a, a mortal being. And it's the sense of her fragility and her mortality which is fundamental to the, to the love that one feels towards her, in, in my view. Uh, and uh, if you try and exclude the thought of death, uh, then that love is weakened, and the, the, se the sense that you have, that she is absolutely dependent on that love, uh, and of course will one day escape from it through death, that is a, a, absolutely p a part of what the love is, and why we find in erotic love a kind of redemption. That's, um, and that's what I would say. But, um, I, I would say as well that it's an, it's an aid to concentration and focus, you don't have much time, and there's plenty of problems, and so, you and 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 it's going to be a hard road no matter what, and so, get at it. You know, for years when I was in my twenties, the first thought I had, when I woke up in the morning, was life is short. I, and, and really, literally, it happened to me for years, and I thought, no time to waste. Then there's 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 things to be done. There's things that need doing. Get the hell up. Make yourself efficient. Aim at something that makes the transience of life worthwhile, because such things exist. And then, and then do everything you can to manifest everything you can within that mortal frame. And, and it, it adds to life a, a seriousness that would otherwise be absent.